to God and welcome highly esteemed brothers and sisters from all over the world. In today's episode, the 9th of March, Pastor Chris reminds us the importance of building God's character into your spirit. Let's take a look at our opening scripture taken from Mark chapter 11 verse 23. The master says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Some people misunderstand our purpose for affirming God's word. When you tell them, for example, to say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, they think we're trying to make sinners talk as though they are saints. No, we are not making such declarations because we are trying to be what we're saying. No, we are stating spiritual truth. Praise God. Our confessions are based on what God already said about us in His Word. He said whatever He said so that we may boldly say the same thing in agreement with Him. It's a spiritual law. In Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 6, the Bible says, For he had said, so that we may boldly say. Understand how this works. The word of God is God's material for building himself and his character into your spirit. First, we receive his nature at the new birth. But you still have your character. And because of that, some people are at a loss as to how to reconcile the realities of the new creation life with their own character. But that's why the Bible tells us to renew our minds with the Word of God. You meditate on the Word. But first you have to hear the Word, accept it, and endorse it. Then confess it. When you confess the Word of God, you create the character of God in your spirit so that you think like Him. Hallelujah! God gave us the written Word for us to think upon. He knows that if you think the Word, you will talk the Word, and if you talk the Word, you will walk the Word. That's the principle of the Kingdom. You are what you say. Therefore, Keep confessing the word of God and thus build his character into your spirit. Remember, your life is the outworking of all that you've imbibed in words. Your life is a product of words. And every time you speak, you shape your life and future. So use the word of God always to chart your course. Praise God. Now let's take this prayer together. You can repeat after me. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for giving me the word, the material for building your character into my spirit. Thank you for showing me the way to a life of continuous victory through my faith-filled confessions in the word. I reign triumphantly over all the negativities of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. More than ever, meditate on the Word to help you form the right mindset. Because before you can talk right, you must first think right. God's Word can help you renew your mind and produce faith in your heart. For your study session today, you can look into these scriptures. Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 as well as Mark chapter 11 verses 22 to 23. Hallelujah. We've come to the end of today's episode. Now remember, if you know anyone that is sick or are struggling with mental health, the Healing Stream Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris is a global healing event happening on the 15th to the 17th of March this month. So it starts at 10 p.m. Malaysia time. Invite others and let them know that this is the set time for their healing. Invite them to this channel too so that they can feed on the Word of God. 
Hallelujah. Tune in again tomorrow for a brand new episode. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody